Diamond Shea Bear 1000 here. Mickey 1000. Today we're working on the vet. We're going to fast forward you through most of this because it's not really a how to video. It's just kind of letting you follow along, joining us on getting this old Corvette running again. Um, so let's get into this and let's put a distributor down in it. Okay guys, so I'm going to point you back here the best I can. The sun's a little bright, so I think maybe you can see what's going on there. Uh, what I'm going to do is i got to unplug everything, and then we're going to pull this top off, but I'll go ahead and pull this top off now. There's only one screw that's tight, I do believe. I think it's that one. This should come out. Yep. Right under here is the coil. So what I got to do is unplug the coil wire, the power wire, the tack wire. There's the tack wire. Here's the power wire. And I got some wires down here in the back that have to be unplugged. And there's no way I would be able to get you in here to see this, so. It's kind of a pain. Take my watch off. plug it looks like that. I don't know if you can see that. I'll show you on the other one. Now we got a, there's four screws and I'm not sure what size they are. Can't remember if they're a quarter inch or five sixteenths. Uh, these are screwed in and the new cap we got or the new distributor has a cap that it's got the clamps. I'll show you all that here in a minute. But we got to take this off here. I, I need to see which way that rotor's pointing. Uh, and what I'm going to do is when I drop the new one down in, I'm just going to point the rotor to where this one was at. And it should be close. So, Remember your firing order, guys. What is it, Monkey? I told you three times on the way home. Oh, I don't know. She can't remember. One, two, three, four. No. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Small block Chevy. One, eight, four, three, six, five, seven, two. Uh, Say that again. Some of the, one, eight, four, three, six, five, seven, two. Oh, you would know. Some of them are printed on the uh, intake manifold. I don't know if this one is or not, but I already know it, so I'm not worried about it. But uh, write that down. Mark your wires if you have to. Someone's already marked these, I think, or I don't know. No, this is shrink wrap. So, but if you know the firing order, just make sure your distributor's pointing when you put it back in where it was, or if you're point putting a new one in. So, um, now I got to pull. There's a nut down or a bolt down in here. For the hold down for your distributor can't remember what size it is can't remember if it's 9 16 or 5 8 on this one i'll show that to you too once i get this off here but let me see let me go get my little socket and ratchet thing so i can get these screws out so i can pull this cap off here but in the meantime, I do want to find number one, which will be on the driver's side over there. That should be it right there, that number one. First plug. This way? Yeah. Yeah. 
That's the first one. Yeah. Okay, so they got number one here. All right. So let me get this cap off of here, and I'll see which way it's pointing, and then we're going to pull this uh, distributor up out of here. Okay, I got those four screws loose. They don't actually come out. I'm gonna take this out. Pretty nasty looking, it's got a little water in it. Because all these leaves up here, and this is ripped. So it's building up water right in here and dripping it down in to the distributor. So now we got a little bit more room to work with here. It's like a nine sixteenths. It is. Now they make a distributor wrench for these things that come down like that that'll go underneath like an S or a Z. I got one in there but this one you don't really need it on. It's kind of handy but now I can see that the distributor is pointing looks like four or three. I'll check it here in just a second. As soon as I get this bolt out of here. And there's the uh, the keeper. Looks like that. Okay. So now, set this in there for now. Yeah, that cap was bad. See that? So you get a new cap. Yeah, I got everything. Yeah. Oh, okay. So we got the whole unit. Oh, look at the water. Huh? Oh, water on top of it too. Yeah, I know. So, they had number one right here. So it looks like it's pointing directly at one, eight, four. Number four. So that's how we'll put the new one down in. Now we're just gonna lift this right up out of here. And you don't have a lot of room. That's how that got torn, by the way. Trying to get that out. All that and that, and that cap that was way too big for it. Just like that. Okay. Wow. And there's the distributor. The distributor itself is good, but I see a lot of stuff here that ain't, that is not right. This is your electronic ignition module right here. And I see black tape around there for some reason. So I know a lot of people call them modulators. They're not a modulator, it's a module. So we're gonna go over here. We're gonna open up the new one and then we're gonna bring it over and set it down in. Okay, so let's open this up. We're not going to be able to start this thing today because I still haven't done the VAT system yet. The VAT's bypass. I might check and see if it's got spark, but I doubt it with the VAT's system acting up. It usually shuts everything down, so... is well packaged. That's good. Here's your knife if you need it. Alright. Our paperwork. Oh wow. And this is what we're putting back in it. Yeah. So let's go ahead and open this up. You closed it. Mm -hmm. Never closed someone else's knife. Oh, okay. 
see this is just a this stock it'll be fine for that there we go that's yeah. all the same Isn't it pretty. see the other one had the screws that come down through here and screwed right into it this one has the what they call the clamps so we'll be taking this off sticking this down in got our new gasket yeah that is pretty mm -hmm. we're not going to be putting a cover on this so no no all right well now we're going to go over back over to the car well i'll show you how this cap comes off let me grab my screwdriver now these take a Phillips or a standard it's usually best to use a straight screwdriver but I had the Phillips handy so it'll work but when I go to put it on I'll probably use a straight screwdriver we gotta unplug this just like that And this is the coil right inside the cap this will come right off there we go and then we'll just set this down in it'll have to come back like this because once you set it in it'll turn or it might turn back but yeah because of that worm gear on the bottom so Let's go over here and let's see if we can get the set back down in where it needs to be. She's pretty. Then we'll continue on. Okay, so I got me a mark right here where number four is. So, let's see. And this wire down here is what plugs this plugs into, which that's why it's so hard to get to because it doesn't come up any more than that and it's real hard to plug into and so get, let me check this again okay just checking everything out I'm gonna try to get this down in here go something like this now we're gonna where's my mark right here's my mark Inside there there's a slot I don't know if you can see that there's a slot that turns your oil pump so sometimes you may have to get a screwdriver a long flat bladed screwdriver and turn that pump a little bit one way or the other so that can drop down in where you want it so let me go get a screwdriver now well, I didn't hit record but what I did was just took this stuck it down in there and turned my pump a little bit it doesn't have to be perfect perfect because you can adjust this here and I'll be adjusting of course the timing once this car is running with the timing light do this again <laughs> wasn't recording I don't know if you can see how that's spinning there see how it spun around it spun right to my mark like I said sometimes you just gotta take your long screwdriver get down in there and turn that 
turn that little rod that's down in there now I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in now because if I get the cap on it'll be a lot harder so these out of the way here I'm gonna plug that in and then I'll bring you back and stick the cap on there we go barely reach it but there it is that's the free pickup coil fires the injectors Let me get that plugged in, and then we'll put the cap on. This is a lot of, a lot of stuff here, you know. That then we'll put the wires back on it. And this part of it will be done. I probably won't do the. Uh, I probably won't do the. The vats bypass till tomorrow but anyway let me go ahead and get this plugged in and now let's put this cap on make sure these ears are out of the way now in here there's a little a little tab right here and there's a notch in that distributor where that tab is going to go So once you get this drop down in, make sure your clamps are out of the way. Okay. And then just set that on there and give it a twist and you'll feel it drop down in. There it is. You can also see where these clamps will go. So that's in there. I got that loose enough, just loose enough to to turn when I go to start it, but it's not going to be today. All right, there we go. Let me go get a long screwdriver. Let me cl clamp that on, and we'll get the wires all put back on. So. Alright, there's that. It really is easier than what it looks. The hardest part is just getting that uh, that to drop down into the uh, into the oil pump shaft. It's not that big of a deal really. But there's a gap there. Alright. Okay. There's that part of it done. Okay guys, so I did check this for spark. But the fuel pump's not pumping. So that could be the vats or it could be something wrong with the fuel pump. It's not really a major issue. But what I did was I took this PCV hose off and I squirted some fuel down in there. Hit it mama. Let's see if it'll fire. It's not gonna run, but it might fire. <laughs> that scared me. All right, well, it will run for a second then. <laughs> oh my god! We got it! Kinda. Yay! There's all them guys said, well, I'm gonna hear it run. 
Well, there you go. You well, heard they, it right. They can, no, not on here. Oh, uh, yeah, but I mean, yeah. Yeah, they can yeah. come over here and run. Yeah. But it ain't for sale now. Nope. Heck no, I'm going to the beach in this sucker. Hit it again, Mama. You sure? Yeah. You hear the pump? No, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! That's pretty cool. Does that rum rum too? <laughs> it's a vet. It goes rum rum. It goes rum rum. All right. Yay! I wasn't expecting that today. No. Huh. Huh. It shouldn't have ran that long. I didn't put that much gas in it. Turn the key on. When you turn the key on, Listen behind you, see if you hear um, a buzzing noise for like two seconds and then it'll quit. I'm gonna turn, just turn the key turn on. Turn the key on. Try it again. Let's start it up? Yeah. Oh. Try it again. again. One more time. Yeah, the motor does run. Yeah, thank you. Cool, huh? Yeah. All right, I'll be back with you. Okay, guys, so sorry about the wind. Like I said, it wasn't a, really a how-to because it's just something that we're doing. 
Um, because if you've never done a distributor, it's probably best you don't go on YouTube and try to figure out how to do that yourself anyway. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not being a smart aleck. I'm just saying, you know, that's, that's mm -hmm. kind of, you know, if you're one tooth off, your stuff's not going to run. It's going to be bad and mess up a bunch of stuff. So, yeah, you should know what you're doing. So, yeah, I mean, but... And if you're watching this, you're probably a gearhead. You might probably already know how to do that. But like I said, this is not a how-to. Um, just what we're doing. Trying to get this thing going. Yeah, because you're keeping it now, aren't you? Oh, hell yeah. Speak up. It's windy. Hell yeah. <laughs> now that it's roaring, yeah. It's roaring? Yeah, it's going rum, rum. It's rumming? Yeah. Roaring? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it makes a little noise, don't it? Yeah. That's excitement. Never thought I'd be driving my father's car, though. <laughs> well, you ain't drove it yet, but we got some, you know, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and bypass the vats on it, and we're probably just going to go ahead and put a new fuel pump in it, and then we're going to go from there, because injectors ain't going to fire anyway if you don't have any fuel pressure, so what it was doing was just running off of what I put into it. That's why it would hit real good and then just start bup, 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 because because this thing's sitting at an angle so it was probably running on cylinders one and three or something like that you know so that's why it was doing that but at least we know now it does run again <laughs> yeah <laughs> so she's happy about that yes now i gotta figure out all them wires there's vacuum lines missing there's still a vacuum leak the header on the driver's side on the left side here none of the bolts are tight there's a gap in it, so I'll probably have to put a new gasket in that. I know one of the bolts is cross-threaded crooked in it, so, and that's an aluminum head, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about that. So I may have to pull that header clear off, drill that out and put a helicoil in it. Um, Cause usually if you, if you try to straighten them threads up with thread chaser into aluminum, it doesn't work real well. I got the head gasket set ordered for the, Tacoma so when those parts come in we'll get started on it pull the head off it and get that broken plug out of there and we'll see how bad that is so anyway went ahead and ordered a carburetor for the tractor there so because uh I, I know it's going to be bad but I went ahead and ordered one <laughs> so all right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Another episode of the Corvette for you. Yep. So you got to say? Yep. She's happy. <laughs> well, I'm relieved a little bit. <laughs> She's yeah, already... At least we can move it around, you know. We get to that not, point where we can move not it yet. around. will be nice. Not yet. Because, you know. like I said, it's got a major vacuum leak. I, you know, that's why it revs up real high. Uh-huh. Um... So, I mean, you're not going to want to put it in gear when it's idling at 2200 RPM. Right. Um, so, anyway, a little bit at a time, right? A little bit. Okay. Shea Bear, the Myth the Man, Legend, gone for now. Muck. Like I said, for now, y'all. Bye. <laughs> Bye, guys.